Got some nice parts on it. Hello, fellow gamers. I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome back to my gaming channel, Justice Gaming, and I am in Horizon Zero Dawn again to continue my playthrough. Hope you all are having a blessed day today. Let me know what you're drinking down below. I've got a hot coffee with vanilla once again. It's a staple. It's what I like. And it's a good drink to have while playing some Horizon Zero Dawn and getting into this storyline and just having a whole bunch of fun. Uh, and I do apologize in the last video, I believe my microphone was peaking a lot during that audio and it kind of sounded garbled and was peaking on the volume. I think it was just a tad too loud on the volume, so I pulled back the microphone just a little bit on volume there. Uh, the gain was just a little too high, but hopefully that will be a little bit better for you in this video. I will judge after I watch this back and see how that went. I always don't know until I play this back and listen to the volumes and make sure they're okay because it does change every now and then a little bit. But I also did spend a little bit of time in the last, or uh, after the last video, doing a little bit of editing to my character. Uh, one of the things I did was my control scheme. So now when I aim, uh, I can use the right mouse button to aim. But check this out. I've now got a quick button I can use to zoom in real fast and do that like slow motion zoom. And that's on my mouse. So now I can just quickly aim, do the extra aim when it uh, refreshes there. And then boom, I got that. So I can do it in and out when I need to. Although it has to recharge all the way, I'm noticing. So I, once I zoom out, it has to recharge all the way before I can use it again. So I just have to remember that. Um, so I got that going on. And then also look out what, I've, what I'm able to do now. Look in the bottom left corner. Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. Check that out. I can switch between all the things. So this is what I was missing in the uh, last several videos. I didn't realize how to use those uh, potions and powers down there. So I've got that assigned to a button on my mouse, so I can do like half health, I can do a rock, I can do, I think that's a freeze bomb or something, or some kind of potion. Um, and then that's like a shocky thing, and then that's a full health. So I have all these assigned, and then I can use F to activate any of those abilities when they're in that down position. The one at the very bottom is the one that's active. So I'll leave it on health, because I'll probably use that most of the time. But let's say I need to go to a rock or that or whatever, I can I can do that real easily and I'll be able to use those powers a lot easier now. Uh, so I think I got the hang of that. I also did a little bit of upgrades, so I need to go over that before we continue on our missions today. Uh, in my inventory, in, under resources, I sold everything that I, could, I needed to sell to give me a little more space. I kept the things that I'm going to need to like craft for ingredients or things like arrows, which I would be crafting for the most. And I kept more of the valuable things right now, the rare items, and I'll probably sell them in the future, but I did sell the uncommon stuff. And you'll also notice that my resources pack is bigger now. I can carry more resources. This also extends to the weapons. I have more weapon slots that I can carry as well, more weapon items that I can carry. And also I increased my uh, ammo count so I can do 30 arrows now instead of 20. And what I did for that was under crafting, it's under carry capacity, you can uh, increase these carrying capacities and it cost resources to do that, but I had the resources. So I went ahead and upgraded the uh, weapon satchel and the hunter bow quiver and the resource satchel. So. I've upgraded those. There are more I can upgrade, but I just don't have the need for that right now. So I'll save the resources until then. And then, uh, yeah, having the uh, ammo capacity increase. So I worked on that. Let's see, I also added a new modifier to my bow. I added a plus 8% damage coil that I have. So I added that so my do bow does a little bit more damage than it did before as well. And I didn't change anything on the outfit right now, just the weapon for right now. So uh, those are a, a few upgrades that I did and things that I sold to give me more capacity. And I think that's really going to help us. I used this vendor right here for that. And so 
I think I'm ready to go. I think I'm like ready. Let's let's start this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's figure out what we're going to do. In fact, Brom, it's your sister, Olara. What? Who's calling me? Somebody's calling me. I don't know from where. I don't see them. Are you out there? Like I hear them, I don't see them. Something up there. Oh. Rom, can you hear me? Well, then I have to check that out. But how do I get up here? I'm gonna have to climb this rock face. I guess somebody needs help, so let's help him. Got somebody new to help here. Do you need help? You're the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. His sentence ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty and covered in blood. Covered in blood, you say? You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. Why are you out here alone? What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rome was always a little different, a little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. Yikes. The forgotten, who are they? What do you mean, forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent. Banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. Well, I guess I'm going to look for her I'll brother. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be... Just find him then, please. Yep, I will obviously do that. So that's gonna be a a side mission quest thing. How do I jump to this rope over here? See, I'm not very good at jumping to these ropes. I don't know where I need to stand exactly to do that. I want to catch on to it. Yeah, that was kind of iffy there, but it worked. Wow, roomy there. Okay. Shoot. Hmm, I landed in... F oh, that was another thing. I added skill points. That's what I forgot to do. Tell you, I added skill points. So I've got silent drop, which is landing from a fall or a jump is completely silent and will not alert otherwise unaware enemies. Then I got further reduce your visibility to enemies while crouching. So if I'm crouching, I won't be seen as easily. easily. And I think that's going to help me do those silent takedowns better. Um... I think I had all of these. Light spear have an increased chance to knock off armor and components. I don't know if I had added that one. 
Uh, I did add this one, speeds up healing from the medicine pouch I got, doubles the capacity of the medicine pouch, so yeah, that was a skill that I added there. So the medicine pouch is increased because of that skill. I also found out that there's a heavy melee, a heavy melee attack, so check this out. I can do a light attack, which is just to attack with the spear, but if I do, if I hold down shift while I'm doing that, look at this, I do a powerful a powerful melee attack. I didn't know that I could do that. So I've got an extra thing there that I didn't know I could do. That's very cool. So anyway, um, all right, let's look at our quest and see where we need to start. So the main quest, which says I need to be like level 12, which I, I'm not level 12 but it recommends level 12, is to override a Strider. Boy, I'll get 6,000 XP for that, but the side quest right now is the Forgotten. Honestly, and it's a level 4, so that's closer to where I'm at level-wise. So I think I will do this uh, side quest first rather than the main quest because I am only level 8 right now, and so this one is more up my up my alley on that, um, but also, I'm gonna have to learn how to read this map. So where is that quest that I just added? So if I, I mean, I added that quest, but where is it? Is it, like, where on the map is that quest? That's a merchant. That's where you override the machine. Let me go back to quest here. So yeah, it's selected. Side quest, The Forgotten, go to Brahms camp, but it doesn't show the camp on the map? Gee. It's like way over here. I guess I haven't been there yet, so it can't sh Oh no, that's it right there. So it's that little symbol, okay. So it's showing the path I need to take to get there. Go to Brahms camp. Ah, all right, cool. Now I kind of see. This is where I am. This is where that mission is. So I will go back there and do that. Uh, but I also want to check out Rost, where Rost was kind of buried. Where is our home at? Let me zoom in. That's Mother's Heart. See, this is what I for have forgotten on the map. Where is our home? Where Where is Rost at? You know, where was our home, like, camp? I want to say it's this area here. Man, it would use a fast travel pack to get there, and, and I don't want to do that. I guess I once I get to this road, I could travel up that way. Because I want to go see about where we buried Rost. No, that's not where I want to go. Wait a minute. Am I... I need to go back that way. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the map and how all that works. I think this is the way we need to go. Indeed it is. So we're going to travel this way and then... And it's a long trek to go way up there, though. Should I try attacking these things with my, like, new abilities? Let me try the heavy melee. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, yeah, that heavy melee works really good. Also, for my, um... 
for my focus ability, I realized or I saw in the uh, key configuration that I can just press my mouse wheel and we'll go to that real easy. So I got to remember that so I can easily go to my focus just by doing that. That's going to make it a lot easier if I need to uh, activate my focus. Let's just go ahead and go to Brahms camp. I guess after that we'll go visit where Rost is buried. But we seem to be right here, so... Real close. So we'll just do this first. How do I jump down? Want to jump down. Well, that hurt. And I do think I'm going to do more melees than anything, only because I don't want to waste my arrows. Because I have to craft new ones every time, and I don't want to waste ammo, so to speak, so... I'm just going to, like, melee these things more than anything, honestly. Better clear out those I got a stealth kill. but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Alright, so focus time. Coal, wood, ash, recently extinguished. You're a boar. says examine it, but that's what I'm doing. Oh, I need to actually examine it without the focus. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Alright. So we need to follow the tracks. Track the tracks. Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. All right, focus. Where's the blood? Yeah, this focus really helps our detective abilities, that's for sure. There, a bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks. Guess we're going up.
Man, I missed him. I don't want to waste my arrows. I'll tuck that away. He's trying to hide behind a tree. So beautiful as we walk through this world here. I think I need to harvest animals too because part of upgrading my satchels and stuff was like boar meat or something. So I think like, yeah, upgrading um, all my satchels and stuff will require animals and stuff. So I need to probably do a little bit of that. Oh, there's a... Um, wait, it's bringing us here? This is where we came out, Mother's Cradle. That's twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. Recently... To cap... Uh, decapitated with an edged weapon or tool. If Brahm did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Follow the tracks. Looks like it was a watcher. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> Those machines are angry. Reach level nine. That's good. I can't spare the weight. Oh, a nine percent handling coil, though. Um, I would like to have this coil. What resource can I? Am I full on resources? Is that what it is? I'm not full. So, what part of my like? I, I'm not full on resources. So what part of, I guess my coils, that must be what it is, my coils are full. Oh, okay, well, this is a shock coil, a fire coil, and a fire coil. I don't need two fire coil coils. One is 25% and one is 23, so I guess we'll get rid of this one. was that that I couldn't grab? That's a plus 12 fire coil. No, I got a more powerful one in there, so I don't need that. Alright, now also, where am I headed?
Maybe atop this rock? Someone loaded these supplies. Come on, examine. Braum was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? Follow the tracks. Can I jump? Oh, I can drop. Okay, good. C is drop. from the cash. Why would they take them and just throw them away? Looks like we're going up. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. That was a heck of a jump. Die. Found him. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? Okay, so... Heart, maybe? I know this is hard, but I can help. So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. Well, I'm glad that worked. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me, keep me company, help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom, you're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. Can you help him? He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them. Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Hmm. He Ron needs you. isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank Good. you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all mother's eternal memory, and may the forgotten leave you be. Helping people along the way. That's what I do. It's what I do. 
Okay, well, the Forgotten. That was a nice, really easy quest. Override a Strider. That's the main thing. So I got plus 1,000 XP and a remarkable reward box. I need to be checking out more of these, like, reward boxes. Because I do get them. I just, I need to open them, I suppose. Um, so what were they under? Let's open it. Metal shards, metal vessel, and chill water. Okay, well, I think we're at the main quest, which is test the override device on a machine, and it's right here. And I know it says, if I go to quests, I know it says that it recommends level 12, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Override a strider. I'm just going to do it anyway. Because it's right here. It's real close to where we need to be, so. Can I safely jump down? Yeah, this is like right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this one, even though I'm only a level 9. It's just real close, so we'll get this done, and then we'll go see where Strider. Rost... I can test the override device on them. Override striders to quiet. use as mounts by approaching undetected and hold E. Alright, I need to be undetected, though. Well, that... I felt that already, didn't I? Alright, so I didn't see that one right bes freaking beside me. Alright, so, huh. Let's not do that again. I do need to be undetected to control Safe. it. For a few minutes, anyway. I need to get close to one and be undetected. I see them way over there. So I'm gonna let them, they're on alert. I'm gonna let them die down just a little bit and maybe sneak over to one. There's a couple that way. Okay, there they go. They. It's died down, but I need to sneak up on it or let it come over here, right? I think I can follow its track, right? No, I can't track its track. Okay, I gotta sneak up to it, though. How am I gonna do that? I mean, they're looking right at me. I need to come up from behind it. See, maybe if I can go to a different one over here. Oh, there's one of those things, too. How in the world am I going to sneak up on this thing? Okay, they're moving, so I'll think... I think I'll come up behind it as this one walks by. I think that's the play. I'm over here now. So I will sneak up on this one. Okay, here it goes. Come on, come on. It worked. It's okay. a hostile. Seems almost tame. I think I got it. There we go. That a boy. Well, that was fun. Do you like it?
Oh, he's alive. Yeah! 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 Ride! Okay, look what I got. I have a friend. Well, that's definitely going to help a lot as I run into rocks. Oh, he kind of like rides. How do I stop it? Interestingly, I can't stop it from moving. I can't like, how do I? This beats walking. It beats walking, but I can't stop it. So that's terrible. Okay, I want to go here though. We're gonna go visit. Um, I should try overriding other kinds of machines. I probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. We're gonna go visit uh, where Rost is at. And I'm pretty sure I'm correct about this is where he lives, but I could be wrong. Or lived, I should say. I just jumped that. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Got to figure out how to get over there though. I need to get up there. Didn't work. Well, I'm falling off the side of a mountain. Okay, not where I wanted to grab. Yeah, that's what I thought. I should be able to walk up across that. way to get up here. Am I going to have to do this every single time? That's a heck of a climb. Wonder if there is a quicker way to get to his to the house. Maybe not. All right. Well, we made it all the way back to here. I wanted to see. Yeah, Ross grave. There we go. Ross. I couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you said goodbye, I was too quick to let you go. I just, I never really thought it would be the last time. 
I saw you. I was just acting strong. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. Yep, he there was there. He was watching us at the proving. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I've been... trying to puzzle it out, but... nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this... a woman. Older, with short hair. But why? And... What's the connection? If she's my mother, then... She didn't look Nora, but... If she lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn, the less I understand. I'll go on a little bit. I could leave, but I want to see what more she has to say. I need to track down Olin. An outsider. He was at the festival... The night before the proving, somehow the killers saw me. This is a nice focus. summary. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him, well, he's going to tell me everything he knows. And he's going to pay. All right. Yeah, I, I definitely. It's I definitely be believe famous. he knew. I'll try to come back when I can. That was a great summary. I'm glad I came back to uh, look at his grave. Have that little, you know, summary speech. And just one more time, say bye-bye to... Say bye-bye to our house that we grew up in, basically. Because we're about to leave the embrace and go into the unknown of the frozen wilds, so... There's nothing for me here anymore. I know, Aloy, I know, but I just wanted to look. I wanted to look around one more time, say our goodbyes, because we're about to leave for good. I guess I can't go in. <sighs> we're going to leave. All right, let's go back to the map, though, to take that off of our waypoint. And I guess the quest is the main quest, which is the only quest. is to go there. Talk to Varl at the gates of the embra Embrace. Let me look on the map, see if there's anything that's like marked on my map that I could visit or go to though. There's merchants, campfires, there's ruins. I never went to these ruins. I could try to do that. Where's Varl? Varl's way over here. Honestly, it's, I could, I could visit that. There was also a village somewhere that I never explored. I just don't remember where it was. But there was some village I saw that I never really went into. So, I don't know. If I see it along the way, I'll go to it. They, like, shunned me as soon as I got there, so I didn't go any further. Now we gotta go all the way back out of here. Wonder if there's an easier way to get up here, or, or if I guess I could fast travel here if I needed to. Okay, catch the rope, please. Thank you. That's the big fall. Oh, look, my horse is here. Well, this will definitely make travel a little easier as I go around.
right, let's see where we are on the map. Do I want to try going to these ruins? I think I do, just because it's I see it on the map, and I want to, like, just check it out. I don't know that there's anything there, I just... It's on the map, and I saw it earlier, and I was curious about what may be there. I think I've angered all these animals, but that's okay. Oh, you know what this is? No. You know what this is? This is the hole that I fell in in the beginning of the game. That's what that is. Okay, well, cool. I found that out. How do I move the clear away point? Thank you. No? Yes. Clear. Okay, good. All right, well, let's go to Varl. Here we go. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm the first person to fall into that hole. It's so close to all the activity around here. You think that somebody, a Nora, would have fallen into that in the in the past, you know? It's just right there. Somebody surely would have found all that before I did. Machines. Varl, I take it? <sighs> Aloy. The outcast who won the proving. So you survived your wounds. How did Matriarch did. Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian? The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. That's right, I'm a well, seeker. You should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If oh. I make it? Mother's Crown. The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. Okay, let's ask everything. Dangers beyond the you embrace. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bost. And my sister. Your sister was Vala? Ooh, Vala, right? I'm, I'm very sorry. Can't believe she's gone. I mean, we've just I met her, her at the beginning there of the proving. I think we might have even become She's friends. already dead. I thought she was going to be like a long-time friend. Chance. Guess Thank not. You. She died saving others. There is no better death. 
You said the war party was massacred. How? <sighs> when word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend, an unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. Mm -hmm. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go uh, after her myself I if will. she hadn't commanded me you to know hold I'm this gate to. at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving. Who killed those we love. Who tried to kill you. I, I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. The main quest, the war chief's trail... Talk to Maria at Mother's no, Crown. No, no, don't attack. It's with me. How is that possible? Um, also, it wasn't... It did, Something I discovered. I see. It didn't come through. Can I make it come through? Indeed, I can. Not what I wanted. I want to loot this thing. Forget about traveling light. May the goddess protect. My whole life. All of it may embrace. The world just got bigger. But also more dangerous. Well, I'm floating. That was weird. Okay, well, I guess we are going out into this. I'm climbing a tree, okay? I'm climbing a mountain, apparently. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. So let's see what the quest is. It is to go and f to... Oh, I've got two things here. Okay, and they're both... They're both main quest, but... I've got the War Chief's Trail, which is where the Nor War Party was ambushed, or the main objective, which is to go to Mother's Crown. But I'm going to obviously do this one, the War Chief's Trail, and start there. is actually really far away and I have to go through a lot of enemy territory. What does this mean? I have to go through a lot of enemy territory to get there. What is that? Like I don't know what all these icons mean but they're probably important. And there's somebody right there actually. I want to talk to this person. Are you alright, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Oh, not exactly. Then I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. 
I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, told my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. Hunting grounds, you say? You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer, and my bowstring snapped, and I tripped, and... Uh, forget it. it. It wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. You talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd do better than I did. Probably not. Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the keeper would talk to me. I think he might be in exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the laws of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. I'll be all right. My father always said our mother had a plan for me. Before he got run over by a strider, anyway. Wow, okay. I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful. Especially if you're heading north. And be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up. I actually think I might do that. I typically in games don't like these kind of like hunter things, hunter trials that you have to do. But I think I might do it here for this game because number one, it's going to give me XP, so I'll level up more. But I do need the practice because I am pretty terrible. And uh, it might open up new possibilities for gear and weapons. So I actually think I'm going to do that. I guess it doesn't show up on here. It just... Oh, it shows up under hunting grounds. It does show up. Ah, okay. Look, here's the rules. Parts alone trial. Remove canisters from grazers in 130 and you get this gold. In two minutes, you get a blue. And in 20 minutes, you get a bronze. So if I get, for example, one, three of the golds, I get a plus one skill point. If I get... Okay, cool. I think I see how that works. So you get these things, right? Half sun, full sun, blazing sun, skill point. Log pile trial is kill machines using the log pile traps in the area. And then a blast wire trial, kill grazers using the Karja tripcaster, and I don't have that weapon right now. I, I could try this. I'm probably not good at it, but I can try it. Probably up here, huh? Well, let's uh, also save it said a campfire I guess up up here Let's uh, do the campfire first. Got a merchant. I spoke to Kren. He told me this is a hunting grounds where you offer tests of skill. Poor Kren. Not the best hunter. But at least he keeps his chin up. Hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? I will try. Clear, I'm not sure if I'm going to be part of the Hunter's it. Lodge, you but I will try. In confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the sacred land and returned. 
The matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. Okay, about the trials. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. Hunter's Lodge. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. I think I will try this. Uh, like I said, this is not really my thing, and I, and I don't normally do these kinds of things in games, but I'll give it one go and see what happens. Which Let's tools see. trial would you like to try? I'll explain how it works. I mean, we're just going to try from the top down. We're going to try with parts, parts alone trial. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Yep, let's That's go. That's a good one. Timing begins once you slide down a rope. So grazers. We basically need to pop grazers, which are right there. And then those are grazers, right? And yeah, they are. And pop down and um, shoot this stuff off of them. Well, that's the wrong weapon. I have to get 10 canisters. Here. Buddy, you're in my way. Okay, I need to shoot the canisters off their back. Darn it, I should have done this first. Well, I'm definitely not getting the gold award. I don't think I'm going to get any award. They run away, so that's no fun. I've really got to be close to these guys. Is this a Well, 
Well. The trial failed. But I'm not good at that sort of thing. I'm not shocked that the tri trial failed. Not really good at that sort of thing. I might try it again, though. Kind of see what I have to do now. I do have to hit the canisters only. And I need to use my, I guess, jump. I need to use my jump more because it slows down time. I, I do want to try this again. Let's see what I can do. See if I can do this again. I thought I had to pick up the canisters, but I don't have to pick up the canisters. I just have to shoot them. I thought I had to shoot them and pick up the canisters, but no, it's just shoot them. All the way up. Let's do that again. I'm afraid you didn't finish in time, but please try again. Oh, I am definitely going to try it again. Do parts Test alone. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the back. I get it. I get it. Except trial. Perfect. I'll start timing when you start down a rope. All right. Now I know what I need to do. Let's try this again. Get out of my way. See, it's not hitting exactly where I want to hit. Come on, I hit canisters on that one. I guess I can kill the rest of the canisters on them? Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. have time for that. Well, those canisters don't count. Oh. Well, those canisters are not counting. Not enough machines. Oh, I killed the machines. Dang. All right. Well, that's kind of rough. So you can't kill the machines. The, kill the machines need to stay alive, huh? So that's why I failed, because the machines died. I 
I'm gonna give it one more shot. You didn't pass. I'm sorry. Do it one Test more time. Skill with bow and arrow. I like that one. If it doesn't work this time, then I'm done with that for now. Those extra canisters just don't count. I cannot kill those extra canisters. Okay. Dude, I am totally missing. Didn't work. Stuck on a tree. That hurt it. Darn it. I can't kill them. I gotta do it while they're alive. Oh shoot. Fallen, fallen, fallen. Not enough machines. Okay, I failed again. I think it's because I killed too many. I killed too many. I was close. I had I just needed one more, but I guess I killed too many of the animals. Do you think I could just do it by whacking them with my stick instead? Do I need to shoot them? Yeah, it said shoot them with a bow and arrow. Yeah, I guess I have to shoot them with a bow and arrow. failed that run but you can do it yeah I'm done time for me to head out I'll be here when you're ready to test yourself not very good at that and admittedly it's not really the thing I'm interested in in this game anyway I don't want to really do a lot of that kind of stuff let me uh, get my arrows back Yeesh. I need to scavenge more stuff I think Nope. I don't think the hunting stuff is for me. Not my cup of tea. And that's fine. I think let's go back and do like more quest stuff. Which will be the War Chief's Trail. Tell you what though, we'll start that in the next video for sure. The War Chief's Trail. That's where we'll pick up next time. I'll just go ahead and make our save place right here. Just campfire and we'll start from here. 
Okay, well, I think that's going to be my video for today. We've kind of made our way out into the embrace here. Uh, first, we did talk to uh, Ross's grave and kind of like gave him a summary a, uh, of what's been going on, which was a great like recap of everything. We learned how to take over a strider and uh, override them so that we can use those creatures. And I need to override other creatures as well. Uh, I did dabble a little bit into... Oh, yeah, we helped somebody uh, off a cliff. They didn't uh, kill themselves. So we saved them and helped a little family there. So that's nice. And then the hunter's trials here. I know that this is a thing in the game. Like like I said, I, when I saw this game played the first time, I know that there's the hunter's lodge. It just mentioned in Meridian. And it leads to some like really good gear and items. I know that. But you can see I'm terrible at it absolutely terrible maybe in the future I'll get better but right now I'm terrible at it so I'm going to pass on that stuff it's just gonna waste a lot of time for me and I don't wanna I don't wanna waste time I really wanna get into the quests and go that way and yeah work work through that so I think that's where I will continue in the next video is just doing the quest I won't, I won't worry so much about the hunter's lodge stuff in this in this playthrough this time Although I know it leads to good stuff, I'm not really going to be into that necessarily in my playthrough. But I did give it a shot. I gave it three times. Almost had it on the third time, but nope. It's just going to waste time, and I don't want to waste time, so that's going to be it. Um, thank you all for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next one.